Hello, Pisces viewers. I'm going to look into your situation and see what your person is feeling, thinking, um, wanting. We'll just see what the cards have to say about where the story is heading over the next couple weeks or so. So I know Mercury Retrograde is definitely bringing a lot of um, exes back right now, too. So let's see what's going on. Alright, so for the Pisces that are drawn to this video, what is the story regarding their love life specifically? I specifically want to look at Pisces Zero's love life. What is going on with your love life right now? What is the story here? I feel like there's like a block in communication between you and somebody, but it's like, it's not for the, it might not be for the reasons that you think it is. It's almost like I see somebody kind of emotional and it's like they, it's like they just go back and forth. Like they come to try to talk to you, but they don't know what to say or they're afraid or they just can't find the words. It's like, It's like maybe they have a secret or maybe there's something going on with them that's holding them back. It's like because there's, there's this strong desire on their end for communication. Like I don't, I don't see it as like a lack of interest. I do see this strong desire on their end for communication, but there's just something that's kind of affecting them, like a secret or just fear um, or just maybe their own issue, something they're going through right now. Let's see what the story is. Okay, it's interesting energy. Seven of Seven of Wands, the Devil. Yeah, it could be a toxic karmic or toxic patterns that they're now breaking. Also, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Yeah, see, this is them. I think, feel like this is them kind of watching you start to walk away right here. Um, but it's like they're longing for you, you know what I mean? It's like they don't want that. They just see, yeah, they, they, they want that communication with you. They just don't know how to have it. They don't know what to do, really, I feel. I get a very submissive energy from this person, so I can't for, say for sure that this person is always submissive. But at the very least, I'll say that they're in a submissive energy right now. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, this is a third-party situation. My favorite mistake by Sheryl Crow, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that song, but that song just came to mind too, which does speak of a third-party situation, so that makes sense. For a lot of, I feel like for the majority of you, maybe not all of you, but for the majority, I feel like this is a, a third party situation. And I see this to represent the karmic. So with the seven of wands, it's like she's he or she. It's what you know, don't get caught up on gender. It's just however, whatever your story is, don't don't get too caught up on gender. It's whatever energy you're in and whatever energy they're in, you should um, you know, tune in to see how it resonates for you personally. But Southern of Wands, it's like he or she is, is defending what they think is theirs, you know, and they are kind of obsessed with, um, this, so this would be the karmic, this would be like the, the karm, if, if your person is currently with the karmic, then this is the energy that the karmic is in, the Southern of Wands and the devil, so he or she is basically holding on to your person and, and, um, feeling as though, you know, she's earned that, she deserves that. Um, she's, you know, Seven of Wands, it's about fighting for your territory, almost seeing this person as prop, as her property, as, um, something she's invested in that she can't just let go of. With the devil here, it's like, it's obsession, it's greed, it's just this toxic energy. It's like, she's just kind of trying to dig her claws in. And I think the, that your person is in such a submissive energy, it makes sense because there's so much drama going on with the karmic right now um and she's trying so hard to just claim him as her property or claim or vice versa you know um like i said could be either gender could be female female male 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 female it's however it plays out but um yeah this karmic is just trying to claim your person as their property basically and sink their claws in 
And it's like there's just so much drama and toxic energy that I think your person is just feeling weighed down by it. I feel like they just, they, they, I just get like a submissive energy from them. But I don't feel like they're, I feel like they've come farther than where they were. I don't feel like they're just fully giving in to them. I just feel like, I feel like they're over the karmic. Like, I don't feel like there's love there anymore. I feel like they're trying to come forward to you. Maybe they're afraid to come forward. Because, you know, we, we, we said earlier there was a secret or there might have been, um, just some type of some type of block, something holding them back. So maybe they're afraid that if they come forward, you're going to have to deal with all this drama with the karmic, and they don't want to put you through that. There, there may also be something about finances tied to the karmic. Um, could be why they've been staying with them for so long. There might be something financial there. So I'm looking at the ten of this is the present moment I feel is the ten of pentacles, the page of swords, and the nine of pentacles. And like the nine of pentacles is good energy, it's not bad, but it's like your person was in the ten of pentacles energy. They were in this completely financially abundant, stable energy, and this page of swords energy came and knocked that away. And it's like now they're at the nine of pentacles. So why did they take a step down financially? I'm thinking for some of them, if they have kids, um, Maybe there's child support payments going on. Maybe there's some sort of court battle that's um, going on right now or about to be coming up. Um, there could be something with court, with finances. Because it's like they were financially abundant and they just, they took a step down, you know. And I mean, generally, the Nine of Pentacles is a good card, like I said. So if you're just getting into reading, like, this is usually a good card. But I always intuitively read the cards. So... I kind of just, I channel primarily, and this is just used as a visual for you guys. Um, so I look at it, in this particular reading, I look at it as a step down, because this is completion, and this is, this Nine of Pentacles is usually like reward after hard work. It's like you're almost there. So it's like, why were, why was your person there financially? Like they were set, and now they're, they've taken just that little step down. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, there might be something with court coming up. There might be child support, something, um financial involving the karmic that's kind of setting them back a bit could also possibly be someone giving them bad business advice you know pages are about messages and swords are it's kind of a more of a harsh energy i mean usually the page of swords can mean passion it's like inexperience but they're eager to learn um you know all these new ideas but i kind of see it as more of a, a toxic energy in this particular reading because it seems like whatever this page of swords energy is this is what happened this is what brought them down a step so I feel like this might have been a message, um, again, probably regarding court or just some type of financial issue regarding the karmic. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be court. It could just be he or she is financially relying on your person right now or they're financially relying on each other. There's just something, there's just this very strong energy of finances regarding the karmic. So it's like they want to get out of that, but maybe they're not able to right now. Maybe they owe them money or they're owed money or they don't have a place to stay if they leave the karmic. It's it's that kind of energy. For some of you, so for those few of you that aren't in a karmic situation, in a third party situation, I feel like your person might be a workaholic. Like it could be somebody who's really defensive of the material world, somebody who's kind of obsessed with finances, obsessed with, um, they're very insecure. So it's like they're kind of obsessed with presenting this image to the world that they have everything together. And I think that they focus a lot on like college or um, work or finances in general to make themselves feel better about themselves. So it's kind of like this fight, this obsession with, with money and with the material world. You know, you know what your story is too, but I just, I keep looking at these cards because I feel like there's more than one message here. Um, so like I said, this could either be, for a third party situation, I would take this as, you know, the karmic thinking that this is her person, even though it's just a karmic relationship. Um, but he or she thinks this is their person, so they're digging their claws in and it's just this toxic energy. But your person's over it. If there's a karmic situation, like I don't there's they're not staying out of happiness. They're staying because there's something going on with finances, or there's something if they have kids and there's something going on with the kids, maybe a custody battle. But they're definitely not staying out of love. I definitely do not feel that. Um, but for others, like I said, those of you not in a karmic situation, 
not, I mean, not in a third party situation. I think, feel like this is your um, person just kind of defending their addictions and their fears and their confusions and kind of just defending the way they are. And for a lot of them, I do get this financial, if this is, if that second story is yours, and I kind of get this, this energy of like maybe financial obsession too. It's like they kind of fight not to dig too deep. You know what I mean? They, they fight to just hold on to the surface level and just focus on their job or whatever and kind of fight to push you to the back of their head or to push love in general to the back of their head and just kind of focus on work or their career or bettering themselves. But it's like it's all ego and it's all very surface level. It's like on a deeper level, they do want more. But it's kind of like it's kind of like somebody who just um, it's like a trauma response. Somebody who just goes, go, you know, go, go, go just work all the time, workaholic, uh, just focus on themselves to kind of avoid healing and avoid facing their their deeper issues and avoid really opening their heart to love but they do they are coming out of this energy they are having you know I'm going to get to that in a minute but they are having these realizations that they messed up with you so I'm going to get to that in just a minute um so don't this isn't a bad reading this is overall a pretty good reading and you know I'm always going to give you guys honest readings I'm going to tell you where your person is at regardless of whether it's good or bad I'm going to be honest with you I'm not just going to say whatever to get views, you know what I mean? I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Um, this could be somebody who, who definitely pushed you away in the past, who either held on to the, you know, maybe, maybe hold, holding on to finances, holding on to the karmic, holding on to the to defending the, the, the way they are, just um, not being willing to slow down and heal and open their heart. But this is the past energy, so it's good that that's in the past. They're coming out of that now, so it's not bad. They definitely have a lot of fear of stepping out of their comfort zone, too. There might be like this self-sabotage kind of energy, almost like they feel like they deserve the abusive relationships they've been in. Like they feel like it's just normal for them at this point. It's like they, they don't realize, they don't think somebody good and loving would ever want them long term. You know, they kind of feel like, maybe that's that secretive energy I was getting with you guys, where it's almost like they feel like, like you wouldn't be willing to deal with the drama that you'd have to deal with with this third party or if there's a third party or, you know, they have so much baggage that they're like, would you really want that in your life? Like, would you really, you know, because there's a lot of healing that they just haven't done that they haven't been willing to do. And maybe they've been in a situation where they've had to survive. So maybe that's why they haven't done the healing. Maybe they've kind of, if they, if they are in a third party situation, that would make sense. If they just kind of have to have, you know, go, go, go. It's like they're trying to just survive. They're trying to take it one day at a time and they don't know how to really stop and heal and let all those emotions come to the surface and really, you know, look deeply at things and, and figure out how to heal and open their heart again, you know, like they haven't been doing that work, but they're, they're starting to have these realizations now. Um, so for some of them, like I said, this, this could be cust this, this is where they're at currently. This could be a custody battle or something financial that's kind of keeping them tied to the karmic. If there's not a karmic situation, this could just be their own financial greed. It's like maybe they made a bad business deal or they invested in the wrong thing. Um, or there's could have been like a message about like a job loss or unemployment, something of that nature. Something There's just a heavy energy regarding finances here. It's like a message came in or something happened here. Pretty quick. It's pretty quick energy to the Page of Swords, I feel. And it, it took them down a step financially. So that's kind of where they were at. But with the five of cups here, I feel like I feel like they've realized they've, that they've been foolish with this. I feel like they've realized, like they see that they they didn't realize that they were losing you. I think that you I think that you were kind of pulling away slowly. I think you were kind of trying to play hard to get maybe, or maybe you just didn't know what to say anymore. Like you were just kind of tired of them always being busy with this third party situation or with their financial obsession, whatever the situation was for you, you got tired of their, you just basically got tired of their energy oh, and attention always being elsewhere and not on you. And I don't think they realized that they were losing you to the full extent that they were. Um, I feel like they were just so focused on the drama and this energy that was in their lives that we just talked about. They were so focused on that and they were just on autopilot and just kind of numb and they weren't really feeling these deep emotions it's like when you would come up in their head it's like they would kind of push you to the back of their mind and they would say no I have to be in survival mode right now I have to focus on 
getting my finances in order or I have to focus on getting away from the karmic or anything before I can be with somebody else. You know, they, they just kind of push it to the back of their mind. They're like, I'm not ready for that. Um, and I feel like you just kind of waited and I feel like you held space for them. You just kind of waited, hoping that they would come around and hoping that they would realize what they had with you. And I think that it's not that they didn't realize what they had with you. It's that they kept, you would telepathically come through to them, I think, and your energy would come up in their dreams and they would push it down. Like they would be really happy in their dreams, but they would wake up and, you know, there's the karmic or there's their nine to five job or whatever. And so they would be like, you know, I can't get lost in that dreamy energy. I have to survive. I have to be logical. It's like they're very harsh on themselves, you know. Um, so it, it's not like they didn't care that they were losing you. It's almost like they just didn't acknowledge that they were losing you. Like they didn't realize it fully because they kept pushing it down and they kept focusing on all the other things in their life. And I think while that was going on, I think that you were waiting for them and you were wondering like, why don't they care? Why aren't they chasing me? Um, what's going on with that? And it's like, they, it's, they just didn't, um, they didn't get it. Like they didn't understand that they were losing you. And I feel like they're about to have this epiphany where they actually realize it's like this is them. They're that mermaid and they're realizing their ship is sailing away. It's like they're finally turning their head and looking and it's like, oh shit, like my ship is sailing away. Like my person is leaving. My person, you know, they, they, they're finally recognizing that you're, that you're not there the way you used to be. They're finally recognizing that you've distanced yourself, that you're not messaging as much as you used to or you're not around um if you guys are messaging in contact they're realizing that you're shorter with them or that you're not messaging as often and that you're not really pursuing them the way that you used to or that your energy isn't showing up in their dreams as strongly as it used to you know you have to remember it telepathically too people can kind of sense um they can kind of sense like if you're pulling away like they can feel that so they're they're realizing that you're pulling away that you're not there the way you were before and that your your attention is now elsewhere and I think with this Five of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, it's like you see these two people that want to talk to each other, but it's like they're not, it's like they're not understanding each other. They're not hearing each other. You know what I mean? It's like this, this kind of just this painful energy. Um, but they're realizing that they messed up. They're really realizing that they should have pursued you, that they should have done something. And now that they're, now that they're not on autopilot so much, I think that things are, I think they just have a strong desire to change their life. Like, I think whatever this was, was kind of like a tower moment for them almost, where it's actually helping them in the long run, because it's like they want to, they want to do better, basically, you know, they want to do um, right by you, because they get their energy, and it's like they're wanting to come forward. They're definitely wanting to come forward, but there's still just that, um, there's just this, there's some, there's some kind of block there. Maybe you guys need to do some, uh, like chakra clearing or like some meditation or something because there's still a block there whether it's the karmic or something else it's kind of like there's just this fear there's like it's like a secret or something it's like this fear that if they come forward um that you're not going to want to deal with that drama or you're not going to forgive them or you're just what is that how do I explain that because I see them like slowly coming forward, but it's like they're, it's like they're shaky. It's like they're nervous and awkward and don't know what to say. You know what I mean? Like they are coming towards you, I feel, but it's like they don't know what to do. It's really weird energy. It's kind of like a, it's a very submissive energy. So if they, they are in a third party situation, I feel like the karmic really, whether they're still in it or they just ended it, whatever the situation is, I feel like they're, they were really beaten down by the karmic. The karmic was really abusive with them. And so they've kind of, they're really insecure right now. They're really submissive. They're really afraid that nobody is ever going to love them or want them. So that plays a big role in it. That damage that they've been through, especially since they haven't healed from the damage. They've been on the autopilot for so long that they haven't really healed from it. So I do see them coming towards you, but it's, again, it's just, it's this, they could have a secret. They might have a secret. Maybe there's something that they don't know that you already know. It could be something like that because I keep getting this energy that they're like, there's something they want to say, but they're afraid to say it. Or maybe they chose the karmic over you. And maybe they chose the karmic because of reasons that you weren't aware of that they couldn't talk about. Like maybe it was finances or some other reason that they chose the karmic and you thought it was love and they didn't clarify that with you. 
they didn't tell you it wasn't out of love. They, they, you kind of thought that, you know, they, they were happy with the karmic or trying to be happy with the karmic when the reality was, you know, that they chose the karmic because of a financial situation or because they have a kid together or something of that sort. Um, some type of obligation, you know, not actual love. So maybe they're kind of afraid of coming back now because it's like, they don't want you to feel like you're, you know, second choice. They don't want to, especially if, if you guys haven't talked for a while, it's like they feel kind of awkward coming back and be like, hey, would you still give me another chance? You know, like things didn't want, work with the karmic. I'm back now. Like they don't, they don't know what to say. It's like that awkwardness or like if they were really focused on finances and work, they just feel, they feel really selfish and bad for how they treated you and they feel stupid and they just, they don't know what to do about it though, you know? And again, they're just in such a submissive energy because of all the damage that they haven't healed and just being on autopilot for so long that it's like they don't seem to have the confidence to say what needs to be said. They're really, so they're really just kind of testing the waters and trying to figure out what to say to you right now. Um, you know, these, these Pisces that, that I keep channeling, they're very shy, very insecure. They do have a very submissive energy about them. But again, I can't say for sure if they're always submissive or they've just been in a situation since I've been channeling them the past few months that has made them um, submissive, maybe with the karmic or something or just their life in general. Maybe they're at a point where they're just kind of exhausted from life. So I don't want to say for sure they're always submissive, but they they have been consistently in a submissive energy when I channel them. This very kind of shy, insecure, uncertain energy. And they do see you as above them. They do feel like you're too good for them. They do wonder if you would actually give them another chance after, you know, whatever stupid, whatever this was, whether it was work or karmic, whatever situation it was that made them put you second, they're wondering if they, if you would really trust them again, if you would want them back. Um, but they are tired of the lack of communication. They do want you in their life and they are trying to work through this energy. Um, there are blocks that need to be removed though. I do still see the blocks. I do still see the drama in their life and in the, in the, the lack of healing. It's kind of like, I feel like they have heart chakra blocks. I feel like from being in survival mode so long, they really need to do some heart chakra work. Um, probably a lot of chakra clearing in general. The root chakra and the heart chakra really stand out to me, possibly for both of you. Um, but those chakras need to be cleared and in this, this, you know, there's people they need to cut and clear out of their life to move forward pretty much. But they are trying to focus on manifesting you back. They're like, wait a minute, they're, they had this epiphany. They're like, holy shit, like I'm losing my actual person. I've been in this stagnant autopilot kind of energy, just trying to survive, just dealing with this drama, dealing with my own selfishness. And now they're like, holy shit, I, I, I'm losing my person. I'm losing my true love. Wait a minute, I don't want that. I don't want to be in this this lack of communication anymore. I want to manifest um, this person back. They're, they're focusing on you a lot more now. They're focusing on manifesting you back in their life. Maybe if they're aware of the telepathic connection between you guys, they might be trying to focus on um, manifesting you back in their dreams. I think you used to show up in their dreams and now you don't show up in their dreams so much anymore. And so they're trying to manifest that to happen again and get that connection back to where it was before. But they just, they, there's, they're still confused. They're still not really sure how to approach you or what to do or say. So that's where they're at right now. If this resonates, um, you know, please go ahead and subscribe to me. Give me a like, a share. Thank you guys.